63. Without doing a numerical calculation, determine which of the following will reduce the free energy change for the reaction, that is, make it less positive or more negative when the temperature is increased, and then just explain your answer. Okay, so basically, out of these four reactions, it seems like only one of them is going to reduce the free energy change. We just have to figure out which one. Now, remember, if we want to reduce the free energy change, that means that we want to decrease the free energy, right? And the free energy is always a delta G. Now, if we want to bring that delta G, delta G down, it seems that we're entering more negative territory, right? You could either think about it as less positive or more negative. But if we assume that we're going lower and lower and lower, we're going to eventually maybe, you know, start going into negative values. And if a delta G is a negative, that means that we're going to be a spontaneous reaction. So we can basically think about this question as which one of these may produce a spontaneous reaction when the temperature is increased. So as your delta G is dropping, we want our temperature to increase or, you know, which one of these as the temperature is rising will bring that delta G down. Now, we're talking about spontaneous reactions, right? Getting more negative, becoming more spontaneous. This is favorable. Out of the possible delta Gs, a delta G that is negative is always favorable than a positive one. So a reaction wants to be spontaneous um, if it can be. Now, this can come from two different things, right? Delta Gs are always linked with delta H's and delta S's, right? So maybe we could analyze this in terms of maybe a delta H is changing or a delta S. Now, if we're going to be talking about enthalpy, which is the delta H, we have to know whether these reactions are becoming hot or cold. But for A through D, they don't tell me anything about heat. So I can't I can't make the connection between a delta H value and the delta G. However, entropy, which is delta S, is always linked to the randomness or chaos of a certain system, aka the balanced equation. Now that we can guesstimate, if we want a favorable spontaneous delta G, we're going to go with the favorable entropy. And just know that a delta S that is increasing in entropy, which is the positive value, means that we are going to be more random, more spont you know, which will lead to more spontaneity as you increase the temperature. So more random. So we want to favor more randomness of the molecules, right, in the system. But the only thing that they gave me was these balanced equations. But they gave me the states. And that's what I'm going to use. Because remember, if you're more random, if we're talking about states, that always means that a solid is going to a liquid, which goes to a gas. Gases are the most random out of the three states, and solids are the least. So all we have to do is just see which one is going to be more random. Now I'm looking at letter A and I see that there are gases all across the board, gas, gas, and gas. So there's no change in state from solid to liquid to gas. So I can't go about that. But the second thing for gaining entropy is that the more molecules, the more random. So it makes sense that if you have more moles or more molecules of a certain state, you're going to have more randomness. So let's just see if letter A checks out. Well, I'm looking now at the coefficients. I have one gas here and three gases here. So this would be a total of four moles of gas. But then I yielded only two moles. So basically I went from four moles of gas to two moles of gas. Is that becoming more random? Nah, we're dropping in number. So this would be a delta S that's a negative value and A is out.
Let's now go to B. I look at the states first, and I do see that I have difference in states. I have a gas, I have a gas, and then I have a solid. So it seems like I have two gases, and I only made a solid. Is this going to be more random? No, it's not. That delta S is going to be a negative, right? I went from the most random to the least random. So this one's not the right one. Let's go to the next one. I'm starting with the solid, and then I'm going to a solid, but then I pick up gases. I pick up five gases because I have four here, and I have one here. So I start off with a, a, a solid, and I'm going to, who cares about the solid, I produce five gases. This is a favorable delta S. This is where it's going to be positive. But let's just see if the ending one is another answer. But I see over here that I have a solid plus a gas, but then I only make a solid and I don't have any gases. So that's not good. This will be a delta S of a negative value. And we have come to the answer. Determine which of the following will reduce the free energy. It is obviously going to be C. And there you go. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being part of this community. And let's keep, let's keep learning. All right. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.